whatever we do, we do it together. Right? There's unity in this team. On the field, off the field, whatever we do, we do as a group, we do as brothers, we do as a family. And as long as you stick together, you stick with that guy next to you, in front of you, behind you, right? nothing can go wrong on this side. All, right? All of us together, always. Right? Great, great week. Good great Our values are massively important to us. We actually have relationships where we care about the individuals as much as we do about what happens on the Saturday. And I think it's that kind of trust, um, that kind of deeper relationship, that although it's harder to manage in the long term, you're going to get more out of the player and they'll get more out of me. Another day in my life, eh? Hey? I think all the clubs in the world want their players to be happy, but they don't really know what it takes. Going back to my wife and my, my two kids, one of the big perks of playing professional rugby is you get some time to spend with your kids in the early afternoon. I think a lot of people would find it quite strange when they come to the club and see how many kids and, and family members are around. Hello, sissy! The club has really made sure that the family as a whole, not just the players, is really happy. Sorry, so this is what it has, it happens when you live in England, you have kids, this is how it looks, so excuse the mess. So. <laughs> The club is not just looking at us as players. Being on the pitch, playing a match, they're looking at everything as a whole. All that married together makes us work so much harder, harder for the club. It just makes you feel really wanted and a lot of players are big softies and even though they go out there and smash each other, they do just need a little bit of a hug and a kiss, you know, from whoever. And for me personally, I love that and um, I'm sure they all do. I had the pleasure of having Skulk be there from the very beginning. At the start, obviously, you're quite nervous about first coming into an academy, but, you know, he's a huge role model from within the club and he epitomises what this club's about. So, from myself and Jamie, is like a father-son relationship. But unfortunately, at the age now, in the beginning, when you're the father, you look off to the kid growing up. But we're now close to that stage where the kid starts looking after the father. So, He's an old man now. Yeah, I'm an old man, as you, you can see, I'm going grey, and, and this man is uh, helping me out a lot. So great to see those academy kids coming through. All of them is now maturing to the players that we want them to be, but more importantly, the person we know they can be. Even myself, I found that if you had a bad game and you missed a tackle or you dropped a pass, as a player, you still dwell on it because the game is your life. So what if the game's not the life? What if they have something other than just the sport week to week? I've got a lot of uh, work going on at the moment outside rugby. Well, I'm studying at uh, the School of Oriental and African Studies. I had a lecture this morning and uh, I have three or four essays that are due in next week. I've done a lot of work experience, so done my builders, bricklaying, carpentry course, which was actually quite fascinating. For me, it's just finding out what I probably want to get into when I finish rugby. And it comes very quickly, and you need to be ready for that next stage, I think, before it comes. Doing a degree, it gives you just that wider, broader perspective on things. But I have a cut-off point where I'm trying to clear my head and like turn my attention to the game and start to prepare for that. I think it's preparing yourself for battle, training as hard as you can during the week and, and making sure you can push yourself as hard as other teams won't push themselves. We make a big emphasis on, on work rate, it's one of our key disciplines and principles. We'll excuse people if they drop a ball, if someone doesn't get off the floor quick enough, and that's not excusable for us. So just to address the elephant in the room, fellas, it's a final and we do nothing different. Every little victory we need to celebrate at the weekend. It's not the big headline grabbing thing, it's the little things, it's the turnover, it's the celebration of a big tackle. They are the things that pull us tighter. They are the things that help this group, this team and this club push forward. I like to feel those nerves, but as soon as I get onto the field, that goes and I think, you know, we've got a job to do. I knew going into the game that it was going to take a special performance, but we had a special group of people. 
I promise you, you're going to get four or five moments where you can just come alive and be how brilliant you actually are. Yeah. Built for games like this. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Big moments. Big moments. But I look to my teammates and I know how hard they work and how hard they're prepared to give and how hard they're prepared to fight for the cause. Everything that's happened in the past counts for nothing now. Let's start all over again. But I swear, I promise, by 80 minutes, if you all buy in, collectively, if you all buy in, yeah. we'll get what we want. Right. But stay in the moment, fellas. Stay in the moment and do your job. Play by play. Oh, it's a penalty! A penalty to Saracens! It's been awarded against Greg Bateman. Entry 16 white. Coming in from the side. Ben Spencer. To win the LV Cup for Saracens. He's done it. Emotions of the game yesterday, you know, it's, it's more than just a cup. Unbelievable. I don't know how you must have felt that last 10 minutes. We've been through such a lot, that group. I just wanted it so bad for them to share another experience together. You know, it just makes me unbelievably proud. I'm a proud man. Winning is a, a fun thing. There's no better time than sitting in a change room afterwards and with a group of guys you've just worked incredibly hard with after a win. I want to come away from a career knowing that yeah, I was part of a very successful Saracen side. We were dominant and it was a great time. Half time, we asked for 5% more energy. We said all week that it was going to take not rabbits out hats or being special, but 1 to 23, 1 to 45, buying into the same thing, the same project, the same plan, and just bringing it to life. You know, our, our group love each other. It's, it's as simple as that, and I think that's what the extra 5% was to win a cup.